start the very first chapter, Chemical Reactions and Equation. In this chapter, first of all, just check the objectives that what are we going to learn in this one. So here you are going to know everything about the chemical reactions, okay? That how to write the chemical reaction, what are the factors because of which the chemical reaction is occurring. Well, how can we write the chemical reaction in the form of equation, okay? And after writing that in the form of equation, we have to balance it. And then there is a question mark, then what is the need to balance a chemical equation? Then after balancing, what are the various types of chemical reaction and then their use in the daily life and what are the various other examples there. So in this chapter, we go through all these things. But before that, there is a basic all the time that you learned in your previous class, like change, okay? We discussed, uh, there we discussed two kinds of changes. One is physical change and the other thing is the chemical change, okay? So today, we are going to discuss about only these two things, physical change and chemical change. So as my main focus is on the chemical change, let's start with the physical change just to give some idea about this, okay? And then we'll explain everything about this in a very concise manner, okay? So what is the physical change? You know very well that if there is uh, now the formation of a new compound is not there. If the new compound is not forming, we are calling that change as the physical change, okay? Like change in color, change in state, change in size, these all are the factors. It is in itself defining it, physical state, physical things only, color, size, shape. So if there is a change, we are calling that as the physical change. If something else is occurring, we will consider that in the chemical change, but just discuss it later. So uh, if I give you an example from the physical change, I can take a very good example that is water. Because you all are aware that you are all in the summer you are going to freeze water just to get small small cubes okay so water what form it is showing you the liquid form ice what is the state of that solid okay but if i go deep into it that means the constituent particles in that what is the constant particle of water it is h2o molecule what is the constant particle of ice it is again the h2o molecule that means nothing new has been formed okay so we are calling that as the physical change because there is only change in state nothing new clear now for the same example if i suppose say i want to freeze the water in the form of small cube then in a large i can say a ball or in in the form of a bar just think small cube small ball and then a bar now consider what is the constant, part, constant particle of this small cube again h2 that ball again h2 and that bar again it is h2o that means what is the difference the difference is only the size constant particles are still same so that kind of change is considered as the physical change as i said my main focus is on chemical change so we will discuss more about this as i said no substance is formed something new has been formed that means new means what the chemical formula is also gets change okay now as i said change so if i uh, give you some example and ask that which kind of change it is is it chemical or is it physical so well there are some factors which will determine whether the change is physical or chemical what are they if there is change in state it is there also in the physical state uh, change but examples are different i'll tell you that change in color okay change in temperature and evolution of gas if you observe any one of the thing or more than that then we we'll consider that as the chemical change but the condition is only something new has been formed okay so let's start with all these things but now just simply giving you the definition that if this is there then this is called we will start or we'll explain or we'll go through it with the help of some examples okay some examples from the kitchen because i already said to you that everything there 
related to the chemistry is in the kitchen. If you want to check anything, just enter your kitchen and you will see all kind of chemical reaction. So I'm going to show you some of the examples from the kitchen only. Yes, there you can see something which is very rich in protein. What is it? The raw egg. Okay, wherein you can see that it is almost fluid. Okay, a transparent liquid is there. Okay, transparent fluid is there surrounding that yellow yolk. Okay, this is also not exactly the solid state. Okay, so what I am going to do, I am going to manipulate some of the external factors, anything. Okay, that means a change. So, after that, what you are going to observe, just wait. Oh, yay. Can you see something? Yes, it is. Oh, is it resembling with the previous one? No, not exactly. Not exactly. There, just split into two half. I hope we'll see something yellow there. Oh, not exactly the yellow thing is also there. That means some change has been occurred because of which something has been formed. Okay. And now our question is, is it resembling with the previous state? Let's check. <clears throat> oh, totally different. Here you can see it was in its it was in its liquid state, yellow color, transparent color. State is solid, okay, white color, and then this grayish line, and again the white color, okay. So, can you relate it with the change in state? Yes. Can we relate it with the change in color? Yes. Something new is there? Yes, of course. It stays is not exactly what it is showing. Okay. That means something new has been formed. So this kind of change, boiling of egg, which is actually the denaturation of the protein is a chemical change. Let's move to the other example. Yes. To continue with that, the other example is this. Okay. Wherein I have taken warm water and baking powder okay so what i'm going to do i simply add this baking powder in this warm water warm water means i have raised its temperature fine so observe it carefully that what you are going to just think please listen carefully yes can you observe or have you i don't know whether the voice is that much clear or not but some kind of some kind of gas is coming out of it with a hissing sound okay that means as soon as i had added baking powder to the warm water some evolution is there evolution of what the gas which is actually carbon dioxide yes coming back to the explanation yes what you have observed on boiling egg denaturation of protein has occurred or you can say some kind of chemical change is there that is why it's converted into a new substance same thing is there in the other example as soon as i had added the baking powder into the water you have seen some bubbles okay uh, you might have uh, you might have listened the voice of a hissing sound also there okay but if you are not able to listen that you must have observed the bubbles coming out of it okay that is actually the bubbles of carbon dioxide we'll go through the chemical reaction of this in the next chapter uh, where we will discuss the activity of the baking powder here my our main focus is on have you observed the evolution of gas yes we have have you seen the change in state? Yes, in the example of egg. Change in color? Again, in the example of egg. Now, what is about the change in temperature? See, to boil egg, 
what I had used, what obviously the gas stove, wherein I am actually doing something with the gas fill in the cylinder. What is it? The butane usually, okay, the main constant of the cylinder. So the combustion of that butane is actually providing you the heat, light and energy. That heat I have used to boil it, okay. So one reaction is giving you the heat and the other reaction is taking the heat. So what is it? Actually the change in temperature. One is giving and one is uh, absorbing. Exothermic process and endothermic process. We will discuss uh, it later in the next class. Okay. And I hope you must have gone through all these things. It's a very clear about thing. Fine. So in the next class, we'll jump to the other things. How to write the chemical reaction. Then it in the form of equation. And then further so on and so far. Till the day. Chemical change. When a new substance is formed, it can be determined the change in by looking at the change in state, change in color, change in temperature, evolution of gas. So now it is your turn. What you are going to write at least uh, 3344 four examples for this chemical change in which they will show you state, color, temperature and gas change. Okay, this is up to you. In the next class, we'll discuss further things. Stay safe and healthy. Bye.